Hello everyone and welcome back to 4Science and Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. We are once again here with our EVE mission test and last time we brought it into the atmosphere and it didn't explode but it also didn't decelerate very much. So we are going to try again. I've loaded the save again to get it a little bit lower into the atmosphere to see whether we can get a better capture and whether it will explode when we do. So we are going to find that out. And I think I'm going to try 75 kilometers this time and see how that works. Apoapsis, please. No. What? 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 I didn't do anything. I didn't press anything. I didn't press anything. What is with that? Out of nowhere, spontaneous disassembly. What is that? Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Well, now the slow turn to retrograde. We'll see if it can do that. Any way you look at it, this is gonna be slow. It's gonna be slow getting to Eve's surface. It's gonna be slow getting off of Eve's surface. And it's got to be slow with every turn. Yep. This is going to take a while. Okay, so trying 75 and we'll see whether we burn up or not. Or, you know, randomly disassemble, which apparently is also an, a possibility these days. Okay, we just want the center decoupler here. Not all of those. Uh... Okay. Well, now we can turn faster. Okay, inflating the heat shields. But this seemed to take a while. It says moving, but it doesn't seem to do it. And then when I click this, it starts to do it. So the action groups, really, I feel like they don't work. <laughs> Frankly. I mean, whenever I try to use an action group, it doesn't seem to actually do anything. We do have it action grouped. Ah. Uh, no. Not to mention this menu is bad to begin with. But yeah, we have these... It says toggle heat shield, but it doesn't seem to actually toggle the heat shield. At least, I wait a little bit, it doesn't do anything, and then when I click it, it does seem to do something, so... The stage is gone, you can turn faster now. Okay, we are in the atmosphere. And it's glowing. Which is helpful, because we can't see it otherwise. <laughs> well, no, I mean, uh, the heat shields were still visible because they're they're cream colored or white colored. But still, this is very suspicious. They apparently did not expect me to have something this big. But why is it off center? I mean, I would expect if it's going to be a square, there'd be a square that's centered on the vehicle. But it's not. It's off center. So that's peculiar. It's bringing our apoapsis down, but it's not a whole lot. We're gonna have to do quite a lot of passes like this. But... Should we is the question. We've got that temperature reading again. But is it gonna be... So much worse that... I decide that this is the lowest altitude we can go to? It's getting pretty tenuous. We gotta start going up again, but it's blinking. Oh, there's a the stage again. The stage is an impervious thing, though. Oh, we lost that one. Okay, well, this is an interesting situation. Do we need them at all? Hmm. But now we're tilting. Uh-oh, I think we do.
Right. Well, okay. Hmm. So we need to do a lot of passes, I guess. That's going to be inconvenient, but it's either that or carry a lot of little heat shields. Okay, so since the inflatable heat shields don't seem to be doing enough to help us capture, if we go at 75 kilometers, we don't seem to be aero braking quickly enough and they explode, and at 80 kilometers, they really don't help us to slow down, uh, we will attempt to launch one with these XL heat shields, which I haven't seen before, so I didn't realize that we had really, really big heat shields, but... Okay, hopefully they'll be big enough. But then we'll need one on the core as well. Okay, we don't want the fairing, I don't think. Do we need all the ablator though? It's gonna be really heavy. Well, these were two tons though. They weren't light. I don't want to carry all the blader, but I guess we'll have to test how much I want. Uh, I'm gonna need, so we'll leave that be. Oh, it it exploded. Uh, uh, did did we not get the one with the struts? We got the one with the struts. Maybe the struts came off. Uh oh. Maybe I shouldn't have waited so long. Oh. Most of it's still standing. Slow motion train wreck. I'm curious now. This is like Jenga or something. I think it's done. Let me just revert to launch and see if it's okay. That sometimes happens. Oh no. Okay, uh, it's a persistent thing. Maybe the struts have disconnected. No, that strut's still there. <laughs> uh, the struts do seem to be there. If we add extra struts, it's gonna be extra lag. Right now it's only one strut per booster. Let me just bring it out again. Maybe I should just quick save and quick load or something. <laughs> that solves everything else. Okay, well, I don't even know how it gets that orientation. There's no controller in that direction. Okay, so, um, revert to VAB. Okay, F5-ing, F9-ing. Okay, maybe I did that too fast. I mean, we launched it before, it should work. <laughs> Right. Or maybe the heat shields are now too heavy and it creates all sorts of instability. It liked the inflatable heat shields better. Well, it's not breaking apart in here. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we can only have one such vehicle in the save at a time. Oh. Okay, we better go. I pressed spacebar already. Okay. Which thunk is that? <laughs> is that the engine activating thunk or it's all gonna fall apart thunk? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go again. So, um... Shall we play a game? <laughs> it's like... What should we do while this tries to make orbit? When would it be safe to turn, I wonder? 
My CPU is chilling out right now. Well, considering it was randomly falling apart earlier, it's doing quite well. Okay, we are past the speed of sound, finally. It's apparently taken 8 minutes and we're 1 minute and 20 seconds after launch. It's sort of nice that having so many vectors, they didn't wiggle us all over the place. That was always a possibility with their high gimbal range. Okay, booster set. Which in a perfect world would mean better rates, but... Doesn't seem to do a whole lot of good for us. Oh, let's turn off and on the engines so we get sound. Of course, this could have been done a whole lot easier if I just put the Kerbals in command chairs. I don't know what the... we need to discover the Kerbal physics in command chairs, like what can they tolerate in terms of re-entry. I haven't tested that out yet. Well, I think one way or another, maybe the extra mass or something else, we're not making orbital with as much Delta V as we did last time. Not that I particularly want to use this to start a transfer, mind you. But... That's the boat we're in anyway. Again, the timing will be off because it thinks this stage has 2,300 when it doesn't. And also... We'll need to do two goes, because the uh, nuclear stage is too long. Oh, that's pretty close. And we have an encounter. Okay, we'll take this. Well, terrain looking especially well defined today. More reaction wheels, huh? <laughs> Sounds good right now, but anyway. It's probably best that we just be patient and not overload it. And of course the vectors can turn us, but I don't want to waste too much fuel doing that. There is a big reaction wheel somewhere around here. There. Uh, just the one. In addition to the stuff, whatever might be in the pods, of course. Okay, well I'm gonna start it now, I think, but it's probably still too early, we'll see. I don't enjoy getting these kinds of frame rates, you know. Nah, it's taking forever. It's like, it takes many seconds for it to do one meter per second of delta V. <laughs> okay, this is not giving me any times at all anymore, is it? <laughs> um, I think at this point I'm gonna go around and replot this, because we're pretty far away from periapsis now. Is this really, really the way we should be pointing? <laughs> we'll have to watch out so that our periapsis doesn't go into the atmosphere, though. No, we should be able to do this during fizz war. Well, not fizz, well, this 
It says I'll get to Eve like this. Well, we're getting as much from Oberth as we can. A high Oberthiness trajectory. Should just about make it work out, I guess. Okay, well, looks like that's about as good as you're gonna get it. Reaps is now going up. Okay, we are on escape. All right, 18 meters per second, and we should be able to get an arbitrarily close periapsis. Is it turning at all? Maybe I should just use the swerve a little bit, but there's only an 18 meter per second burn. going a little bit high right now. Uh, um, <laughs> I, I recall this turning faster at this point last time, I swear. Oh, 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 it's, it's probably too far. Okay, I'm just gonna try. Let's just go over to Eve. <laughs> I'm not gonna look at it. Let's just go. Okay, radial in, that's out, in. This general direction should give us the right thing, so I'm just gonna light it. Okay, that should be close enough. So we'll use the stage to capture and bring us down as much as possible and then aim for, well, whatever height we can. I don't know for sure right now. We'll see. We'll have to test that a few times probably. Okay, I think we should just start now. Uh, turn, baby, turn! <laughs> Alright, well, I'll put a little bit of thrust in to help us turn now that we've reached that Oh yeah, we have captured. Well, we don't need that anymore. Let's go retrograde. All we need is for the periapsis not to get all weird. I think we'll just go around at this point. We've got to just reserve 100 meters per second here. Okay. So now we'll dip the periapsis in and see how it goes. Of course, saving first. We've saved it. We are going to try 72. <laughs> 72 kilometers. Okay, close enough. And off goes that stage. It didn't make a sound. <laughs> I object, you must always make a sound for consistency's sake. Anyway, hopefully these heat shields will protect us. We'll find out. A little bit off from retrograde, hopefully not critically so. Okay, we've got heating. Seems roughly even on these. We're not super slowing, we're not slowing down at all yet. I mean, the apple absence is coming down, but not much. It looks like the landing gear is getting a little bit of heating. Oh, what's the ablator doing? I clicked on this. Where is it? <laughs> no, this. Oh, it's ablating. 
It counts the total ablator of all the heat shields together, it looks like. So even though, you know, we have an individual heat shields, it's counting the total because we sure as heck don't have 22.4 tons on each heat shield, hopefully. But yeah, we should definitely pay attention to how much actually ablates so that I don't to get that much. <laughs> I don't want I don't want extra. It doesn't seem to be ablating that much. I swear I've brought something into Eve before and it ablated a lot more. We're also not slowing down much. I mean, yeah, we're heavy. We can tra can we transfer a blader? I mean, <laughs> does it actually let you transfer a blader from one to another? Hold on, this one has less. Out, in. Hey, we can transfer a blader. Apparently, we can transfer a blader. Well. That's strange. We're going up now. We're gonna have to pass through the atmosphere a lot. We didn't really overheat. We probably could have gone lower. But now we don't really have the ability to do that. And it's probably safer if we don't. Okay. Let's just fizz warp through this. I'm not convinced it's going to kill us, so let's go quickly as possible. Uh, okay, I think I'm going to get rid of the inflatable heat shield one. Just in, I mean, it's probably causing us extra lag around here. But I'll wait until we get into the into space and then get rid of it. We can certainly, with the ablator that we have left, survive quite a few passes now. Suborbital. Well, that's us. So that's the other one. As for this, we're just going to go all the way around. I thought I should be afraid of the heat, but it's not... It doesn't seem really hot. But we're not slowing down. Now I'm afraid of how many times we have to pass through the atmosphere in order to get this suborbital, actually suborbital. And then I'm afraid of actually splashing down in water, or whatever liquid passes for water on EVE. Now well, we're in the atmosphere again. Technically because we're in a lower orbit, we will pass through for longer, but not that much longer considering it didn't bring our apoapsis down that much the first time. Yeah, getting rid of the other vessel didn't really help much. So... I'd really like to see below 2,000 kilometers on this pass. At minimum. Oh, is it even worth doing 2x or 4x? Does it get us to actually real time like that? Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, when we do the time warp, I see more overheating indicators. Let me just not do that. I'm not convinced it's actually doing the heating right while we're in time warp. I think stuff behind the heat shield is getting overheated. It's like uh, when it sort of tries to figure out what's supposed to be heated, it sometimes accidentally bypasses the heat shield while we're in time warp. I don't know. Because the time sets, uh, steps are so bad. Just a theory, but... It didn't bring us down much. We've nevertheless used about a third of our ablator. More than a third of our ablator. We'll... We'll have used about half after this pass, so we basically have two more passes. But it didn't really bring us down much. Once we get out of the atmosphere, I'm gonna save this and then load up the save before we dump the stage. And we'll bring it down much lower and see how it goes. 
but I'll bring it to 61 kilometers. Oh, couldn't I have saved it after I turned? <laughs> Personally, I'm surprised that I would have to even go to 60. I swear Eve's atmosphere used to be... Used to slow us down more. But again, this is a very heavy thing on a relatively small surface area, I suppose. So there is that. Okay, that's 62. Um, yeah, well, I should have saved it before burning, but anyway, off that goes. Why is it trying to roll so much? What's, what's with the rolling? What, where did the roll come from? Okay, we've got the heating again, but we're aiming lower this time. Okay, we're going below 70 now. It's still not slowing us down that much. <laughs> okay, but it's making more sound. It's making more sound. Sound has intensified. I don't like that it's leaning to one side here. And it's even worse on the, the surface one. Well, here's the churning thing. No! Uh, but it still didn't bring us down that much. Gosh darn it. Yeah, we're just going to have to do a lot of passes, I think. And... Big stabilizers. Well, we don't want big stabilizers on the top because... Well, we could add big stabilizers to here because we're going to... Well, still, the problem is when we launch from the surface of EVE, we have to be careful about where we put these aerodynamic surfaces. Ideally, something deployable like the air brakes would be better. So I think putting the air brakes up here would be the better option. Or e even here. Because the center mass is probably somewhere here. But yeah, so up here and then we can dump the air brakes along with these would be a good idea. Though these, I don't think we can mount anything to them because they're a cargo bay. Oh! Wait! How he protected are the cargo bays? And if we open them... Well, we'd have to turn them around. But if we open them... Oh, but they open like that. But they can have a deploy limit. Will they... Will they cause more drag? This has got to cause us to spin, isn't it? That's... <laughs> I mean, or are these even safe? Let's, let's see in the VAB what their heat tolerance is. Probably not good enough, right? They might not even be that physically important. We can easily turn them so that they're in the right place, but we'd have to launch again. And we'd have to launch again for the air brakes too. Thousand Kelvin. Tough to say. I don't know. Well, we're just going to go ahead and see what happens with those deployed like that. Well, we are in fact rotating, but the, the nose guns are overheating. Well, that one is anyway. Yep, they can't take this kind of heat. Oh, uh, yeah, poof. Poof. And it's going lopsided again. Well, 
Well, it's, the heat certainly took into account the animation. Because otherwise they wouldn't have gotten wrecked like that. So I assume the arrow does take... And also, it, that was why we were rotating. Because of those nose cones. <sighs> okay. So, yeah. We're going to have to do something more drastic to get some drag up there. Let me just uh, load the save. Well, I mean, I don't know. This design probably won't work. Or we have to do a whole bunch of passes through. I mean, that's the options there. If we do a whole bunch of passes, but then even if we're in low EVE orbit, maybe it'll overheat if we topple like that. <laughs> 